guys, welcome back to another episode of Winemaking at Keys Family Wines. Today I want to briefly touch on oxidation in wine and uh, one of the methods we use to stop our wine oxidising. So when a wine oxidises, uh, the colour will start to go brown, you will lose a lot of the flavour, um, and then you'll start to get some oxidised characters, so the wine will taste quite nutty, um, it will also smell a bit like bruised apple, and you can also get some green grass characters coming through. So working in the cellar door for 12 years, I was asked on a daily basis, how long will a bottle of wine last once it's open? Um, yeah, there's no sort of answer to that. I've had bottles that have lasted five days without oxidizing. I've also had bottles that I've opened and they're already oxidized. So you just got to go buy smell and flavor. One, uh, one product I like to use, you can get this at any sort of big uh, bottle shop. It's an inert gas, it's got CO2, nitrogen and argon in there. So if you've ever had a situation at home where you can't finish the bottle, um, what you can do is give it a little squirt. So the gas is actually heavier than air so it'll create a little blanket an invisible blanket and it'll just stop the wine oxidizing so um, if you do this the wine can be good for a couple of weeks to even a month that's the same process which happens when wines are bottled so there'll always be a little bit of air space when you buy a bottle of wine um, all the good bottling lines will uh, fill that air space with inert gas so this morning i've done a little experiment to show you what oxygen does to to juice or wine um, I cut an apple in half and I've left one of one half of the apple outside um, and you can see that it's gone quite brown and oxidized. I put some dry ice in this esky and I put the other piece of apple in here and you can see that it hasn't oxidized or gone brown. So there's the difference there. So basically if we have a, a wine in tank that I haven't got inert gas um, sort of uh, covering it to stop the oxidation. That's the colour the wine will start to turn. So this is the Frontignac juice that we processed the other day. I'm leaving this in tank for seven days, cold settling it before I rack it off and ferment it. Because it's on a lot of ullage, which ullage means airspace, I will be dry icing this once every 24 hours with a massive scoop of dry ice because we don't want the juice to oxidise before fermentation. So guys, this is our 2019 Clauber Block Shiraz. It's been 18 months in barrel, and now it's in tank, uh, getting ready for bottling. So I'll come and just put a bit of dry ice in here once a day. Okay, so that's the end of another episode. Um, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for supporting our business, and uh, stay tuned for a few more videos in the near future.